Hey there, I just got my first Uber shop and pay order after the corner shop merge. And today is August 22nd, so it's been a week, and this is the first time I've got an order. So I wanted to give you some feedback on how it goes, even right now from the beginning, and then follow up through the end. So stick around. Hey everybody, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. If you're new, do consider subscribing and that way you'll know when I come out with new content. I'm excited, I wanna share with you, um, I'll show you these screenshots. I got my first shop and pay order, it's at Albertsons here, and it's for Dana, has 10 items. And if you look right here, as you'll see on the screen, doing the screenshots now, it just looks very generic. But I know when I start shopping, then the pictures are gonna come up. So right off the bat, I think what's happening is there was no change. No change at all from the shop and pay order I did before the merge. So let's get in the store and we'll see what happens. And I hope they don't deactivate me. Please, Uber Eats, don't deactivate me, okay? I'm just going to go in the store. I'm going to do my job, go shopping, pay with the card, and deliver to the customer. So let's hope there's no glitches. All right, back in a minute. All right, so let's start shopping. We'll push start, get ready, set, shop. All right, so you can see some pictures here. Just scrolling through. So it looks pretty easy. So I like doing screenshots of everything. That way, if I have to go back and prove anything, I can do that easily. And you can see here it says blueberries 18 ounce. So you just need to look around. And sure enough, look at that, 18 ounces on sale for $4.99, so we're going to grab that. Obviously check the fruit, make sure it's fresh, no rottingness. And then you can see here, item found. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Alright, so next you can see here there's two chips, Cape Cod. And we'll go ahead and uh, select that and say item found. And do you see any scanning going on? Nope, no scanning at all. So it's up to you to use your brain and make sure you're getting the right one. And there's no layout on the store. So you can see there for the numbers, you're gonna have to find these items yourself. Our next one here looks like some pickles and olives. So let's go find these items. All right, I like using color. So I know these, uh, two of these Lindsay Extra Large, they're red, so I'm looking for red, Extra Large, they're whole. Hey, that looks like it right there, Extra Large. Looks like the picture. So item found, $229. That normal price you can see there is $269. And as you can see, it is on sale, so this is it. So I'm gonna say item found. And the quantity, two. All right, pretty easy. Subject to uh, error, right? I think so. So you definitely have to pay attention when you're doing these orders. All right, next are roasted bell pepper strips. Mazetta. Again, looking for color. I see these here. So these are 16 ounce, 429, green label. That looks like it. All right, item found. Just a micro pause. I wanted to give you a quick sponsored video sponsored by me. Do you know about the Timestamp Camera app? It's such a great app. It's well worth the free version and paying the $5 for the full version. I use it to document all my deliveries. It puts the GPS location, the date, time, etc. in there. Can I encourage you, please use it too. It'll help protect yourself from unfair deactivation and wrongful termination. All right, I do appreciate your attention, and let's get back to the video. Here's another example. Jenny O, notice the blue. So it's 99% lean, so you have to pay close attention. And you can see 7.99, so this is it. 
All right, up next, spices. And then some water and ice cream. All right, next, Lowry's garlic salt with parsley. And you can see there, reduced fat and, or reduced sodium, $4.99. So that's it. So we'll say item found. And that's it. So again, you need to be careful that you're picking the right one so you don't get the wrong thing for the customer. There's no check and balance in Uber Eats like there was in Corner Shop and Instacart. All right, so this next, the infused water hint. Again, you can see by the colors, and it was $19.98 on sale for $15, so the customer will be happy with that. Now, uh, frozen yogurt, and we'll be done. All right, so I was looking in the wrong area. This is regular yogurt, and you can see um, if you say it's unavailable, they want you to take a picture of the entire shelf and then take the time to have the customer say yes or no. So this will slow you down. All right, so I said I'm done. Shopping list, we got the nice green thing. Let's go check out now. So you figure he's trying to do the drop off and there's some kind of network error. I am not calling support for this. Uh, come on. All right, I guess it shut off. All right, well, I finished that order and would you like to know how it went? Overall, it went pretty smoothly and it reminded me of the previous order that I did before Corner Shop merged with Uber Eats. So that tells me that Uber Eats did nothing um, importing the Corner Shop app and features into Uber Eats. So I would just forget all about Corner Shop and just get used to the Uber Eats app and realize, like the customer told me, it's for convenience. That's right, it's just for convenience. So the customers don't really care. They just want to order a few items and have you deliver it. So how did that order go? I spent 25 minutes doing that order and the estimate was for $18. As you can see here, I got paid $10.11, so it looks like the tip is gonna be about $8. Overall, $18, 25 minutes, and I was slowed down by the uh, yogurt. It wasn't frozen yogurt, it was regular yogurt. And I was slowed down a little bit by filming this video for you. But overall, I think if, if you're new to this, I would say it's about the same. Um, so pretty good. You're going to make pretty good money if you accept the right orders. And then also notice in there, I tried to say that I couldn't find an item. And the app forces you to take a picture and send it to the customer so they have to talk with you and you figure out what they want to do. This is going to slow you down. And as I mentioned in the store, there's no directions in the app to show you which aisle to go to. So you're just going to have to use your judgment and know the layout of the store you're in to find the item. I like going by color. That helps me find items fast, so maybe that'll help you too. Overall though, the Uber Eats Shop and Pay is just another option for you to make money on Uber Eats, as well as the other gig economy apps. So mix it up. Have all those apps available to you so you can choose how you want to make money. It's not necessarily the end of the world as far as the Uber Eats shop and pay. Yeah, there were some nice features in Corner Shop that aren't here now, but that's life. You just move on. So accept the shop and pay orders as you will. If you get a good deal on it and the pay is worth it, then do it. If it's slow out, then take that order. And that's up to you. You know, during peak mealtime deliveries, food delivery may pay higher and be busier. But when it's slow, you know, throughout the day, do a shopping order if you like. 
I will say that the app glitched on me at the end, and you saw there that it looked like it ended. Later, I had to just say that it was delivered. So Uber Eats does have some glitches. I just wanted to make that quick video for you to show you how the order went after the uh, merge with Corner Shop. And no, it's not the Ethereum merge coming up here in September. Different type of merge. So overall, it was an okay experience, and I'm grateful that I got to get that order. I am going to plan on doing many more of these so that I can consolidate my findings and share them with you. <laughs> the only problem is it's been really slow for Uber Eats. So, for example, today I did an Amazon Fresh delivery. I've done a few Grubhub orders and a couple Instacart orders. So when I saw this shop and pay order come up this afternoon, I jumped on it because I wanted to give you an update video and share those learnings with you. So please share in the comments below. Have you done any orders like this? And how have they gone for you? All right. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video and sharing your updates in the comments below. All right. Take care. Bye.